So today on Star for Garage, we're detailing this Volvo XC90 that is completely trash. This was a dealer trade-in, and I'll kind of give you guys some more tips for yourself if you are trading your car later in this video, along with more detailing tips and tricks. But before we get into the rest of this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below, give it a like, and let's go ahead and get started. Now a commonly missed thing, and I've done this in a couple videos, but I always try to detail the key fob and keyless remote if it has any dirt and grime on it. And for this one, just disassembling it is fairly easy. Just obviously, if you remember what it looks like in the beginning, to put it all back together the same, but remove the battery, remove the circuit board, any metal components from the inside, and then just use all-purpose cleaner to use your detailing brush to get all that dirt and grime removed. Now, like I mentioned, this was a dealer trading car. It showed up to the lot just like this, and the dealership gave about 400 bucks for the car because of the condition the car was in. The outside is not horrible. It's got a lot of miles, but with the inside being this trashed, if you trade in your car with it this dirty, the dealership has to bake in money on top for the amount of money it's gonna to take to get the car cleaned. And for a car this filthy, it's a lot of money. So if you are trading your own car, keeping your car clean, cleaning it before you take it into a dealership or a private party selling it, obviously a clean car is always gonna be worth more. So a little backstory on this vehicle I found out from the dealership was that this car was used to drive across the country from New York to Washington State and back. And they had their two dogs in the car and a travel trailer they were pulling behind. So there was tons of dog hair inside the car. The car was just beat on essentially with all the dirt and debris inside of it and used just as a road trip car. 
Um, but once they got back to the East Coast, they traded it in to get additional car to drive back home. And that is why um, this car was traded in, in the condition it was and not cleaned up prior. Now for all of you that do take care of your own car, any of the interior surfaces like the dashboard and the door panels, I use all purpose cleaner and then I use Fox Clean detailing brushes and microfiber towels, the pet hair brush. I have all of that stuff on my website foxclean.com that you guys should definitely go check out and pick up. I have a coupon code in the description box below for you guys that gives you 15% off on your first order. That way you guys can get all the tools and supplies you need to keep your car clean. So make sure after this video you go check out and pick up your detailing supplies.
Now, one thing with detail in older cars, um, you can see here the tweeter actually popped off the door and I was a little bit um, upset because it wouldn't go back on initially. So I let it hang down, finished up the rest of the door panel, but by the end of this door panel, I removed some of the clips and removed and put them back in. So that way this thing clips back into place. But um, whenever I do detail these cars, there are things that go wrong. There are things that break. Um, I've never had fluid inside of a switch brake. That is something that is very rarely happens and I've never experienced myself. And any of the details you see on my videos, all of those switches are weatherproofed and they're made to hit, get some sort of liquid on them to an extent. Obviously submerging them is a whole different story, but light liquid, you think about if your window's down and rain comes in, it gets on your door panel and switches all the time. Um, but for things that break, you know, sometimes there's cup holders that break off this tweeter for instance the plastic clips broke off I have spares that I keep myself but I always try to repair them even if it's a component that was broken when it came back to me I try to fix it if I can for the owner Now in the previous clips I showed you guys for the floor mats and that rear carpet, I used the pressure washer to get those clean, but for the interior carpets I just used my carpet cleaning solution, drill brush to get all that dirt and grime lifted through the surface, and then my extractor to extract out all that dirt and grime. Um, but once all of that carpet cleaning was done and those floor mats were done, I have a box fan. I have two of them that I set up and I hang my floor mats and then I have one that directs inside the vehicle to get those carpets dry. And typically for, for the cars that I detail, I turn those back to the owner or the, the customer uh, the day after. So that way it gives it at least a good solid eight hours to dry thoroughly. And the easiest way to do that is just to provide airflow over those components and it'll take care of the rest for you.
Now these leather seats weren't torn or anything like that, but they were definitely worn out. This car had about 200,000 miles on it. But you can see on the base of this seat that there's this kind of a stretch mark spot. And that's where there was definitely some sort of cigarette or some sort of heat and object put onto it. So it kind of burned the leather. Um, so that part, obviously, I couldn't get clean or do anything about. But I'm just using my leather cleaner to clean the seats thoroughly with a drill brush in particular because it does help with speeding up the process, especially if it's coated with a lot of cigarette tar and smoke and dirt to get it removed from the surface and just wiping it clean with a microfiber towel. And then just to protect the leather, give it back some you know, conditioning, um, I'm using my leather uh, conditioner to top coat it. Now this rear bench seat for some reason accumulated the most tog air, um, so I used the vacuum to get as much of it out as I could. Um, this type of fabric here on the side, the fibers of the dog hair get stuck inside of it really, really bad. Um, but with the vacuum, got most of it out and then the pet hair brush removed all of it before moving on to the next panel.